Welcome back to a video guys. This one is a little bit different. We're gonna do a saddle and hunting bag cleaning video. And the reason that I wanted to do this video is because I've been looking into, you know, cleaning out my saddle, cleaning out my hunting bag. And I have found a few videos online. Everybody's got their own way of doing it. This is kind of how I figured mine and I got some pretty good results doing this. So let's get right into it. This will be quick. I got my bag right here. This is my hunting backpack. So what you're gonna do is, we're going to empty out every single thing from this hunting backpack. I mean everything. Don't leave a single item in here. Make sure when you do this, you get rid of any one of your bladder bags, check things inside your pockets, everything. And do the same with your saddle as well as you don't wanna soak any of your other gear, just your backpack and your saddle. You can leave your ropes. Um, I left my, accessory stuff on the side but your main tether line you definitely can uh, do this too as well and I recommend you do as that thing gets pretty stinky so we're gonna go ahead and finish clearing this out put all my gear aside and I'll show you guys the next step all right guys so in order to do this what you're going to need is either a bathtub I do not have a bathtub so I went ahead and bought like a big plastic container tote whatever you have um, something that will fit your bag or your saddle or anything like that. As far as our chemicals, we got some unscented, un-everything uh, detergent. We got borax. We got some baking soda. Little measuring cup. Although we won't really measure much, but whatever. And then some sort of stick or something to stir. Is, you don't really want to stir with your hands because you're putting all these chemicals. Um, so... Yeah, what we're gonna do here is we're going to turn on our hot water and we're gonna wait for that to get real hot and we're gonna go ahead and fill our toe up as much as we can. All right, there we go. We are filling it up right there and we're just gonna go ahead and start adding all of our chemicals. So what I did here was about a cup and a half, just because of the size of my tote, did about a cup and a half of borax and you can, Put this in as the water's going in it kind of helps to stir it all up but we're gonna agitate it anyway that's what the stick is for so i don't really need to measure much more i'll just kind of go with the flow here but yeah you want about a cup and a half depending on the size container that you have you guys can see the one that i have here next up i had this box of baking soda i used about half of it on my saddle which i already did so i'll just put the other bit in here and then we're gonna get about half a cup to three fourths of a cup of this unscented detergent right here. Go ahead and put that in there. And now last but not least, we need about a half a cup of just regular white vinegar. All right, so here's our regular white vinegar. Same thing, we're just gonna go in there about half a cup, three fourths of a cup in there like that. You guys can see it's already foaming up and spreading in there, but as it's filling, I'll just go ahead and stir it, get some of that borax that's at the bottom to come loose and mix into the water. Okay guys, so it's about halfway full now, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab my bag and just plop it right up in there and make sure I sink it all the way in. And I'm gonna keep filling this until it covers the bag completely, but right now I'm just getting it in there. The reason I wanted to do that is right now as that water's moving, it's creating a little bit of current. It's just getting more of that stuff inside of our bag where a lot of that scent's gonna get stored in. On the back, you see I put the bottom down, which is what sits up against our back and gets all sweaty and nasty. So I'm gonna leave that there like that. Make sure to wash my hand off. It's really slimy after putting it in there. But uh, that's what we got the stick for. So we're just gonna let that fill up while it's doing that. And just look at the difference in the color of the water. It's only been about 25 seconds that that bag has been in there. And you guys can already see just how nasty it is in there without me even sloshing it around, which we're going to here in a minute. You guys will see how much worse it's going to get. All right, so I think we are at the level where we want to be with water. 
we're gonna go ahead and put this in there or at least try to it doesn't seem like this bag wants to sink very well but either way doing this is agitating all those chemicals you guys can see it's starting to foam real good and that's what's oh 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 no <laughs> make sure you turn your water off when you do that i just sprayed myself pretty good but like i was saying look at you guys look at that water it's just absolutely black in there just from agitating it a little bit but what we're doing here is going to do this for about a minute and then we're going to let it sit for about 15 minutes come back do it again for about a minute and then let it sit for the rest of our time you only need to do it for about an hour leave it soaking in there what i'll probably do when i come back is i'll take the bag and i'll flip it around just so that it's sitting inside of the mixture on both sides evenly all right guys it's been about 15 20 minutes so we're gonna go ahead and take the bag turn it upside down push it in there look how nasty that water looks Let's see if we can fill this thing up in here there we go now we're gonna go ahead and let that side sit for the rest of our time right here alrighty so it has been an hour now and I'm just gonna go ahead and dump this water you guys get ready for this watch this oh yeah that's that nasty that's about three hunting seasons worth of water right there Ugh. look at that water looks like lake okeechobee <laughs> So just go ahead and drain this out real good and then we're gonna go out take it outside and bring it to the washing machine next all right guys sorry about the mess i moved in here not long ago we're doing stuff here i'm all sorry about the wind it's hurricaning out but this is my tether rope and i'm hanging it up here like this just so i can air dry that you don't want to put that in the washing machine but here's our backpack so i'm gonna go over here to my laundry and I already did my saddle, so I'll just add it to the saddle. There's my saddle in there. So we're gonna go ahead and grab the backpack. Add it there to the saddle. Just like that. Get a little bit of detergent of this same one. I don't think I have to explain why you should never use scented detergent to wash your hunting gear. So we'll put some of this in here, just a little bit, don't have to go crazy with it. And we'll go ahead and probably speed wash it on hot. There we go let that do its thing now after it's done getting washed what i'm going to do is i'm going to actually just hang it out and air dry it i'm not going to dry it in the dryer um just because the dryer gets real hot and it could damage especially the saddle that's like a 400 dollars saddle i don't want to do that too so i'm going to let it air dry and air dry is good because you know it's, it's the ambient you're not gonna get smells from that just put it outside today's a very very windy day we got this hurricane helene um passing by so it's actually probably good because it'll dry this stuff out pretty quick and we're not getting rain but that's pretty much it guys that's the process um pretty simple do it on your off season do it on a time that you're not hunting let it dry really good and just get the smells out you know i got like three years of accumulated smells on that backpack and i got about one and a half seasons on that saddle and you guys saw how nasty it was i honestly feel like the water from the saddle was way nastier than the water from the backpack crazy i would have thought it was the other way around but that saddle gets real disgusting so make sure you guys wash your stuff out get some of that scent off us hunters the biggest thing that we need to try to mitigate always is scent 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 i mean you can go out into the woods wearing red white and blue and them deer ain't gonna see you but they will smell you from very far away and your hunt is over so wash your stuff out do it right get out there get hunting and good luck this season. But guys, for this video, that's all we have for you guys today. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Check out my other videos, hunting, fishing, doing just about everything outdoors. So 
We'll catch you on the next one. Be good. God bless. See ya.